What's going on guys, GTA for Life 6996 here, and I'm coming at you guys with the first, or my first, uh, review of Man 17 Ultimate Team. Uh, the first player that I want to review, and um, this is a player that I think, the more and more he gets upgrades in this game, I'm going to probably get them just because of how the card played. Um, because I just, I absolutely love this card, and I love the way he plays. Um, so we're going to be reviewing the Derrick Henry, the Team of the Week. Uh, I spent about 20k on this. I was gonna wait for the price to drop originally to like 15k or 12k, you know, something at that price. But I was figured, I was like, you know, what? I want to try him out. Uh, you know, might as well do a review on him while I'm at it, you know, uh, to let you guys know if he's worth picking up. Um, and yeah, so we're definitely gonna do more reviews. But this, this is this is the main problem when I do reviews. I don't get I don't get a lot of comments. Um, I need people to tell me what they want me to review. That way. Uh, it'll be something to, you guys will look look forward to, you know, in terms of uh, reviews. Um, you know, I could review the I, I, I could review the uh, the Mike Evans. I could review uh, any card you want me to pick up, as long as it's not over what I have. You know, as long as it's not like a crazy cr it's not, like Emmett Smith. I'm not gonna be able to review that. The Legends, not at the moment, cause I'm you know I'm broke, but. <laughs> So yeah, any card you want me to review, um, you know, just let me know in the comment section. And, um, you know, so here we go. So we're going to be reviewing the Derrick Henry Team of the Week. Um, so we're going to be looking at his stats. 88 speed, 89 carry, 92 truck, 85 juke, 91 ball carry vision, 85 agility, uh, 91 excel, 79 elusiveness. Back of the card, 85 strength, which is amazing. Um, awareness is amazingly good for a rookie. You know what I mean? You usually give him like uh, 70 awareness. So that was pretty good. 60 catching, when I'm, which I'm, you know, I'm not too, you know, uh, happy about. But, you know, he's not that much of a catcher anyway, so, you know, he really can't be mad. Um, the pass block is great. Uh, you know, 89 jumping's awesome. Um, 90 stiff arm, 80 spin moves, not that good. Um, and the stamina, which is an 88. As you can see, spectacular catch, uh, route running, and catch and traffic's not all that either. Um, same thing with release. So that's gonna be the stats of the card. Um, and yeah, well, let's go ahead and uh, compare them to a couple other cards. So one person the 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 Derrick Henry really reminds me of is Todd Gurley. Um, you know, and he's a beast. He's been a beast since you know he came out last year, or the year before that in Man 15. Everyone loves his cards, Todd Gurley. Um, and as we can see here, when we go to compare him. Um, he's similar in speed, you know, um, 89 speed, uh, which, you know, is near with his 88 speed, and r technically he is faster than Todd Gurley because of the 91 acceleration. Uh, Todd Gurley's acceleration is a little low with 87, so it's not too great. Um, he beats him in agility, um, but his carrying is better, the, the vision is the same. His elusiveness is better, which is, is really where you're probably going to see the difference in tackle breaking. Um... Uh, the trucking, which is better, and the juke move, which is be for Gurley, is way better. Um, so that's going to be the comparison for him. Another person I wanted to compare him to was Adrian Peterson. And as we can see here, he's got the same speed as uh, Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson, of course, is going to have better agility. Um, his acceleration is way better. So again, he's faster than all of these elite running backs that we're looking at here. Uh, the carrying is a lot, lot better, and you'll definitely notice that, because playing with the Adrian Peterson, I played with him in Draft Champs, he does fumble quite a bit. Uh, the vision is better, the elusiveness is better. Uh, he does have better trucking by one. Not a lot, but it's still, you know, something still, to, you know, that you could boast about. The juke move is way better, and so that's for that card. And again, comparing him to Le'Veon Bell, we definitely see a, a significant difference in speed. Which is definitely better. Even though uh, Le'Veon has an 89 Excel, it's still the the Derrick Henry with the 88 speed, 91 Excel is going to be way faster. Um, the carrying is definitely going to be better. The elusiveness, the juke move, because Le'Veon Bell is is really just he's he's got it all as a running back. Uh, but of course, the vision is better. The trucking is definitely going to be better, and most likely the yeah the strength. So that's going to be for that. So, last person I wanted to compare him to was DeMarco Murray. DeMarco Murray is going to be the one person that does beat him in speed because they do have same acceleration, but DeMarco's going to have one more speed rating than him. The agility is going to be better by three. Uh, they're really they're really matched in, in you know, carry, acceleration, uh, 
juke move. But the trucking is where we really see a difference here. And Derrick Henry wins in that. Elusiveness. I wouldn't really call it that big of a difference. I could see if he had like 90 elusiveness, then it'd be it'd, it'd definitely be like probably noticeable. Uh, his vision is gonna be way better. And believe it or not, vision is is a big thing that people really don't don't uh, take into take into account when looking at running backs. It's something that I definitely do because if you have uh, crappy ball carry vision, chances are you're not gonna be able to find gaps to to you know to get into the open field. So that's the important thing right there. Um, so that's going to be it for the com comparisons. Um, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. So Derrick Henry was, like, amazing. Like, it was just fun to play with him because he was he was just so powerful. I mean, he broke so many tackles um, in his runs. You know, there's going to be some runs where he does get hit on the first try, but things like this right here where you just, you know, you see the nasty stiff arms, you know, those, those Mike Tyson treatment stiff arms. A lot of those you'll see. Um, because he's just, he's super powerful, and he'll, he'll definitely, definitely make you hurt, whether he's putting his, his shoulder pads down and running you over, or he's just, you know, putting his hands in your face. As a defender, you know, you gotta be scared to, to kinda, you know, go head to head with him. I mean, he was just, he was just relentless in, in terms of breaking tackles. He always broke tackles for me. He always fell forward, and I was just, that was just something that I liked seeing with him. Um, right here, we're just seeing uh, a lot of inside runs right here. Easy, easy touchdown right here. Um, so yeah, like, the thing with him, um, in terms of inside running, I, I'd probably have to give him an A-plus. Just because when he did run up the middle, he broke so many tackles up the middle. And not only that, but his speed, uh, he just brushed past uh, uh, linebackers and linemen because he's faster than all linebackers and linemen. I think, I don't know if there's, there's probably like a fast linebacker that, you know, I didn't end, I didn't end up going up against, but, um, yeah, in terms of up the middle, I definitely have to give him like an A there, A plus, um, so yeah, you're just seeing a lot of those inside runs, I did a lot of inside zones, I do a lot of halfback dives, halfback traps, um, so yeah, things like that, I had a lot of success with, um, and I don't know when we get to outside runs, we'll probably see it here soon. But, um, yeah, it was just super fun to play with him. And I've been wanting to get this card, too. Ever since I seen it drop, I looked at the stats. I was like, oh, man. Especially, he reminded me so much of Eric Dickerson. Because Eric Dickerson is also 6'3". He's such a powerful, fast uh, running back. Um, I do hope to add him back in here. Because I'll definitely do reviews on him. He was my favorite last year. But, yeah, back to Henry. I don't want to get off topic. Um, so, right here, we're doing outside runs. Um, and... If he was going down, he was taking someone else down with him. Whatever it was like, a stiff arm or trucking someone, he'll definitely, definitely, uh, you know, make you hurt, like I said before. Um, now, there are times where he did get stuffed and he did get tackled for loss, but those are times where, um, whether he was tired or he just, right here, right here, he was just, I, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't recommend throwing the ball at him. He dropped it a lot. Um, he dropped a lot of open passes, but when he seemed to be, like, in traffic or was kind of, like, a contested kind of area, he seemed to hold on to it for some weird reason. Um, right here, he drops it again. It was a little open right there, a little open lane. Passes him on a, on a drag right here, um, and he's able to hold on to that. So, like I said, um, for, for outside runs, I'd give him, like, a A, uh, just because he was able to get to the outside nice, and especially his speed, which definitely he would just brush past a lot of people. Defensive backs who, you know, there's, f there's faster defensive backs than him, um, but, you know, he's more powerful than them, so he was able to just get past them with a stiff armor truck, um, so yeah, his, his, pa his catching, I'd, I'd probably have to give him, like, a C, because he dropped a lot of open passes, but when he did get the ball, it was dangerous, he was, he was dangerous in terms of run after catch, um, so yeah, that, that, that's right there, these are just the, the few time or, like, not really few, because I did have a lot of these moments where, I had successful runs and successful plays with him. He would just take off, um, you know, stiff arm someone in the in the open field and just keep on going. It was just amazing when he got into open into the open field what he could do, especially going up against one of these weak defensive backs. He was just he would just destroy them. There's a play coming up here where he just completely destroys a defender. Uh, right here, look. Oh man, get off of him, beast mode 5.0 right there. <laughs> so right here we did a screen with him. And the juking, I really didn't have a problem with. I liked the juke animations that he was getting because it seems so much like last year's the juke, which is way easier compared to this year. 
Um, right here is where he just, boom, just just runs over Darrell Rivas, and Derek Johnson's not going to be able to catch up to him. So my commentary uh, ended up cutting off right there, so sorry for that. But um, that's going to be the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, see you guys in the next review or the next video, depending. Probably be one next week. Um, and 2K ends up, it's actually dropping. Uh, you get it early on Friday, so when I do uh, download it, it'll already be there for me to play when I get home. I think, hopefully, hopefully it's, it's going to be Friday, which is basically like next week. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for some 2K gameplay, and, you know, if I have time, I, I guess I'll do some Madden gameplay. But I'm not really on in, in, in the week. Uh, I'm on for like a couple hours, and then I'll just get off. That's going to be the video. Um, I'm wrapping it up, and I'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace.